In the electromobility, we are the one who deliver the energy to the car. Delivering means delivering safely, delivering in a managed way. Uh, to be efficient in energy management. We are not in the car itself, we are not providing the energy. We are the middleman somehow. Electromobility has really started this year in 2011 with the first cars coming on the market. And there are a few challenges we know about the infrastructure, which is absolutely essential for the success. And the two challenges for this infrastructure are first the safety, and we must be absolutely strong on safety, deliver absolute safety to the user, even overshooting a little bit to make sure they get absolute safety for this application. And the second challenge is energy management. If we want the electric car to deliver the promise of reduced CO2 emissions, we need to charge it at a time where the CO2 content of electricity is limited, which means charging at night, for instance, and not at peak hours. So that requires an intelligent charging, a managed charge, and not only I plug and I charge when I come back home or arrive at the office. Safety means first we apply all the rules of installation of electric system. We are an industry which has uh, more than 50 years, nearly 100 years of experience and that has built safety progressively with important regulation that guarantee the safety when it is, it is installed by any electrical installer. So the first thing is to make sure we apply correctly the right practice of our industry and notably the safety regulation. There are in addition extra safety features like in the mode 3, what we call in our uh, community, the mode 3 charging that provide extra safety, for instance not uh, providing power when the car is not connected, etc. So advanced features with communication between the car and the infrastructure to make sure you are safe. It's clear that for the users, they will not see uh, how uh, powerful the application is. They trust electricity, so we need to provide all the means to make it absolutely safe when they operate it. Most of the charge will occur at home or in office, in buildings, and it will be largely a normal charge we mean uh, 3.7 kilowatt, which means a charge in six to eight hours. There will be also fast charge for convenience of the user on the curbside. If you stop the, your car on the curbside, you don't want to wait six hours to be charged. You want to be charged fast. But this fast charge will be also very important for the flexibility it provides to the grid. If we want to charge the cars from 2 a.m. to 4 a.m. when wind turbines are providing zero CO2 electricity, we need to make sure we charge the cars in just two or three hours. And we need also fast charge for this. So fast charge is sure for user convenience in a limited number of cases, but largely for the flexibility to the grid, helping better management of energy and better reduction of CO2 emission. The market has started, okay? So it's very new market. Uh, we are really in the, in the startup of this market. So clearly we need standards, we need guidance, but we need to leave uh, room open for innovation. So we need to balance properly between what we want to regulate to get standardization and what we need to leave open to, to leave competition, to leave innovation possible. And the second message is that charging infrastructure is part of the electrical infrastructure which is existing in home, in buildings, notably, and we need absolutely to make sure it fits perfectly in this environment. And hence, in this domain, the regulation uh, issues of what exist as safety regulations in the different European countries is extremely important for the user's safety.